Okay, so it's part three of the uh, KO Combaticon set, and uh, in no particular reason, we're going to look at this one. This is the... I'm going to go with Swindle of the team. <coughs> That's because it's some sort of Jeep. Armoured Humvee-ish kind of Jeep thing with... Possibly flamethrowers on top, would you call those, maybe? I don't know. And uh, a turret, which you can plug in like that, or you can turn around and put it in that way. Depends on your preference. But they're both quite loose. So, well, there's a little bit of paint on there. Isn't that lovely? Look at the end of the barrel. Oh, isn't that lovely? But yeah, it's a <clears throat> little... Humvee-ish kind of thing. Uh, no paint on this back window, but sure, whatever. Or lights or anything like that. Uh, you might notice this is the dark colour. And this. And they're kind of sparkly. Yeah, they're die-cast. These two pieces are die-cast. Uh, if you don't like this lot, you can take it off. There's just... <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, oh, sneezy. Right. You just plug in the top there, but... I'm going to leave them on because, you know, why not? Swindle had a big gun on top, you know? Do you remember that? <clears throat> and he rolls really well. Which is fair. Size comparison. Siege Impactor will upgrade kit. So. This is what I'm saying. They're in that dodgy, kind of deluxe Voyager kind of space yeah like they're too chunky to be a deluxe but they're not quite big enough to be a voyager yeah oh right should we transform it i suppose so i like these videos they're nice and quick because uh there's not a lot to say about them it's a little humvee thing it's kind of ta patterned it's you know a little bit of silvery gray there for no good reason wheels are nice but there's there's not a lot to say about it Okay, so to transform it, you can leave all this on, but this wriggles around a lot, so I might as well take it off. That, you can leave on. I've been tempted to glue it, but... I think in the combined mode, you can plug all these together to make a weapon. I haven't played with that, but I think it's possible. Might research it for uh, when I do the combined mode, eventually. I don't know what it is. Is it a rocket launcher? Is it a missile launcher? Is it a flamethrower? I don't know. Okay, so to transform this, uh, can be a bit of a pain. What we need to do is flip up these side panels. And now we can see into the guts of the beast. Okay, alright. Okay. And so what we need to do is get these pegs out of these grey sections. And again, very thin pegs. However, on the Onslaught figure, the pegs were metal. These are not. So, a little bit cautious of this one. Uh, uh, okay, you can go off as well. Fine, see if I can. Okay, that's loose. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now we need to pop these side panels loose. Pop side panel loose. Okay. And we need to try and get this. And this is the worst part of the transformation. This has got quite a big lip on the inside. This needs to go over the silver section. So you need to basically just sort of force it to go up like that. And when you got that, it can move around on a double hinge piece here, which is starting to stress quite horribly. But it still works, and it's just bending it to try and get it past that thing, I think, is where the flex has come from, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, side piece of loose, that's loose, okay. I can push up the silver section, get it loose, and from there we can get the side pieces to... Unpeg. There's a peg here. You can see this? It goes into a hole inside. So, unpeg. Okay. Can you see where this is going? Right, good. Marvellous. Okay. And we'll flip through the head by just pushing that peg through. And this, I think, has to kind of come back into place and shove the... Just get it all like there. It's a bit of a mess, this backpack, but we'll get to it. Okay. We will get the back section here, and come on, 
extend, awesome, and rotate. There we go. Which one we fold this bit? This is where the uh, roof pegged in. Fold these bits down. Flip out these pieces. And there's an ever so tiny little grip piece there. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it's there. Split. And now we just need to tidy up the arms. And by this, we get this panel. And it actually slides up and down the forearm. And you can rotate it around. And slide it up and down, but just leave it slid down. So get loose, slide it down, rotate it. Awesome. Bend at the elbow, because we can. A bit cheeky. And uh, just leave stuff flapping around on the back. And that's about as good as it gets. This is... <laughs> Swindle in robot mode. And uh, the head's okay, quite a big forehead on him, but you know, it's not bad. Um, head is just on a swivel, but you know, looks very much like the Onslaught figure, but I'll do a comparison in all the role modes when we do the last one. And see, this panel, I feel like it should, well, it looks like it should tab in here. Like, there are actually tab slots, like it should tab in here. But, then it will interfere with the shoulders, so it can't tab in there. I'm not sure if that's for combined mode, it might be. But for now, it's just got to sort of flop around. But at the same time, this can't tab in anywhere. So that just sort of flops around. So a bit of a nightmare. Uh, these panels are a bit floppy, but they don't really get in the way, so it's not a big deal. Uh, legs move forward and back. They're kind of hindered. Uh, they've got... A little bit of a knee bend, but not a lot. Uh, a little bit of toe if you really want, but let's face it, it's not. Now, this you can just leave on the back. It shouldn't make a difference other than adding more weight to this uh, floppy backpack. And this, um, you just try and find some mode that the hand's not going to get in the way and plug it in. That one? No, this one? Okay, I'll try this one. Oh, and uh, the hands have got wrist swivel, which is nice. There he is with a gun. And he's not good. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm just going to say it. He's not good. But I don't know if it's the quality issues of him being a knockoff, or if it just needed some little extra work on this backpack to have done it. I don't know what the problem is. But I feel like he's he's like that close to being good and just fell short. Because you'd think, even with the die cast on the shoulders, that it caused trouble. But they don't. It's just got a little ball joint in there and it works perfectly well. There's no, there's no problem with the shoulders. Even with the big wheels sticking off the front. like Literally sticking off the front of the bicep. But it kind of works with the shape of the, sh the arm. It kind of it hides it. It doesn't look that bad. It's just, yeah, you know, like the the heels. I wish they were a bit better, but then the heels might not be that bad if this backpack wasn't so cumbersome. So it's not good, but you can understand where they were going with it. Uh, size comparison: there's a Earthrise Grapple. So he's a reasonable deluxe. But not quite a Voyager. Uh, uh, see, we're getting through. I'm only two more, and then I've got to do the combined mode. Uh, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, just in case, because I think I mentioned at the end of the last one, but after I did the, old, uh, the whole outro, I'm going to be on a panel about uh, figures... Uh, availability in uh, countries outside of uh, America and prices and things like that. So if anyone's got any uh, like interesting stories about figures that they found in shops or whatever or stuff that you want me to take to the table, I think it's on the 26th of June, something like that, I'm on this panel. 
And it's either 8 o'clock GMT or 10 o'clock GMT. Uh, I'll let you know close to the date when it's decided. But if you've got any interesting stories about, you know, <clears throat> uh, figures you've bought, uh, where you found them, like shop-wise, uh, what kind of what wave they were? Was it new? Was it old? Was it clearance? Whatever. Uh, what about the new prices? Apparently they're going up. They don't seem to go up a lot. Maybe just like two, three pounds something like that. Except the Voyagers, they seem to be going up a fiver. But let me know what's going on. Uh, if you want to put any pictures, uh, send them to me on Instagram. And uh, if there are any interesting ones or relevant ones, I'll forward them across. And uh, maybe you know. Put your little name on it. Maybe you'll get uh, maybe you'll get brought up in the stream. You've had your review. Behave. Oh, I don't know. Just thought I'd uh, give you guys the opportunity to uh, have some uh, input, so to speak. Speaking of input, I might be on another thing with him, but I don't. I don't we'll we'll see what happens. Anyway, figure. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Waist seems really weird. Like, this piece should be there. What's with this tiny little Buddha belly bit in the middle? What's, what's with this tiny little bit in the middle? Is Buddha belly inappropriate? Is this, like, problematic talk? I don't know. I th you know what? I don't know. I don't think Buddha are complaining. I, I believe he's quite chill. But we'll see what happens. And that was supposed to be a compliment, not a joke, but whatever. Uh, hopefully people have stopped listening now. So, uh, yeah. I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye!